Hi, we're at the SCI UK 2025. We are now with French company VTech. They are specialists in IPTV video transmission and dissemination solutions. To find out more about it, I'm meeting with Mark Rushton, security and defense lead at VTech. Good morning, Mark. Can you please first tell us a little more about VTech? Certainly. So, VTech is a French headquartered global company manufacturing solutions for video dissemination from place A to place B and beyond. So in other words, taking raw video, compressing it, allowing it over any network we're agnostic, through to an endpoint where it's then thrown back up onto a display. Mark, how is this uh, relevant or important for defense applications, especially uh, naval defense applications? Certainly, so like every industry, the amount of information that people want to gather and view has become immense. More increase in sensors and what have you, and video technology. And where this is crucial, they want live, high quality video with an immensely reduced latency so they can make decisions in real time rather than having to rely on archive data. So it's about having video to make those tactical decisions now. How is this uh, challenging to achieve uh, low latency? In the past, transmitting a video used up a lot of bandwidth. With the involvement of new codecs that came into play over the last 20 years, it meant the bandwidth could get less and less, which either then meant that you could transmit for less money or you could transmit more, and ultimately the more is where it came into play. And where this makes a difference is that they can now transmit and share information, not only within their own fleet, but maybe to a coalition or to an intelligence gathering. And that's where this is now becoming crucial because they're not just being able to deal with their own fleet, but beyond that within the naval market, and also take feeds in from not only surface, but also air uh, platforms as well. Uh, Mark, I've been uh, lucky enough to visit a fair share of uh, CICs, uh, Combined Information Centers, on board ships, both old and the newer ones. And I could not help but uh, notice uh, there's an increasing number of screens and the increase in size as well inside those CICs. Is this where your technology comes into play as well? Absolutely. You mentioned about the CICs. They're often blind within the con towers of, a, say, for something like an aircraft carrier or the, the naval fleet head. And so what they're after is they're wanting to see everything from everywhere. It's now not just a case of having one uh, sensor that can rotate and look at something from one direction. You now would have maybe six uh, sensors, one port, starboard, both stern, midships and uh, the bow as well. And this is again wanting real time. So they're wanting a canvas of display to give them that, all these imagery coming in from many different sources. And so therefore it's just grown to be this great big footplate, if you like, of, of screens and imagery. So now when you walk into these places, it does look like you're walking into a huge command and control center, the CIC, which is giving them vital information today. Lastly, Mark, may you share with us uh, some of the naval platforms that are fitted with your solutions? Certainly. So I've had the privilege of working with many navies across the globe, from things like aircraft carriers through to frigates, um, and finally onto some exciting technology we've been dealing with over the last couple of years, which is these autonomous surface vessels that are going out in place now. And that can be anything, as you said, from the CIC through to turret uh, signal coming through, and then to UAV that's flying off the back of an aircraft carrier, for example. All right, Mark, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you for your time.